NBC Studios in New York. It's late night with Conan O'Brien. Tonight, Ice Cube. Dr. Drew Pinsky. And musical guest, Mara. With Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Now, here. show? Okay. It's sad when the woos die down. <laughs> whoa, whoa, woo, whoa. No, those are gratuitous, sad woos. Uh, welcome. Welcome to our show. Thanks for being here. Uh, of course, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. You going to have fun tonight, Max? I'm going to have a lot of fun. I wore a black suit. Oh, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> what does the fact that you wore a black suit mean that you're going to have fun? They're not related. It's As you know, folks, them. much to talk about. we got a lot to talk about tonight. Yes. Of course, uh, the writer's strike is ongoing. Right now, we do not have any of our writers with us. And uh, yes, it's not good. As I've said, these guys are my friends. I want them back here soon. That's great. Very talented. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, in the meantime, the show must go on. So tonight, I thought I'd take just a second to talk about the big story in the news. OK, I'm speaking, of course, about the uh, New Hampshire primary. All right? And I bring it up because it affects me personally. All right? Follow me this. Uh, last Friday, the, uh, the big story was the Iowa caucus. You all remember the Iowa caucus just a couple days ago? Mike Huckabee was the big winner. Remember that? Yeah. On my show that night, one guy's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking notes. Uh, yeah, it's true, Conan. Uh -huh. uh, well, on that show that night, I claimed I was responsible for the victory because Mike Huckabee was openly endorsed by Chuck Norris. That's right. <laughs> AKA Walker Texas Ranger, right? And if it weren't for me and my Walker Texas Ranger lever, which we did on the show here for years, uh, which by the way, put Norris back on the map, Huckabee would have clearly floundered, right? Yeah. Right, now, just follow the logic. Follow me, okay? It's simple, I made Norris, Norris made Huckabee, ergo, I made Huckabee, yes? All right, thank you. Thank you. We can do better. Well, anyway, that's my Quimby. Uh, here's the big mystery, okay? Last night in New Hampshire, Huckabee again campaigned with his secret weapon, you know who. This is a picture from New. We didn't tamper with this picture. This is a real picture. Norris was with Huckabee. Huckabee doesn't go anywhere without Chuck Norris now. All right, so everything should have gone well, right? Only no. This time, Huckabee fell apart. He flamed out. He only got 11% of the vote. Why? Why? Again, I believe I am responsible. <laughs> you see, it was in the news today, a big part of Huckabee's failure in New Hampshire is that apparently he did not connect well with women. He did not do well with women. Now, this is a big mystery that all the pundits are trying to figure out today. Why would Huckabee, with Walker, Texas Ranger, by his side, not do well with women? Well, maybe. It's because a few days ago, just after the Iowa caucuses, I showed this clip. No likey. 
I'd, uh, I'd like to apologize to the Huckabee uh, campaign right now. I want to make things right. I want to use my power for good, not for evil. So now I'm going to show a clip that will appeal to women. It's soft, it's romantic, and it will put the Huckabee campaign and Chuck Norris back on track. Ladies, enjoy. I accept. I mean, that is if, if you're proposing. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And I accept. <laughs> oh, because I love you. And I love you. took the elevator up. All right. <laughs> Everything's fine now. All right, let's talk about tonight's show. An amazing show tonight from the new movie, First Sunday, rapper, actor, Ice Cube is on the show. <laughs> Who's cooler than Ice Cube? From the uh, new VH1 show, Celebrity Rehab, very intense, Dr. Drew Pinsky is on the show. He's gonna... Pender's on that show. And, uh... You're good in it. And uh, <laughs> you're very good on that show. And uh, musical guest tonight, Mara, gonna perform. Yeah. Play some rock and roll. And over here, wearing a suit from the Johnny Cash estate, Max Weinberg, and the Max Weinberg said, Max, good to see you. People love Dude Looks Like a Lady. <laughs> yeah. They just do, yeah. It's poetry. Uh, quick piece of business to do before we uh, move on with the show. We got a lot to do tonight, actually. Uh, last night on the program, uh, we're, we're trying all kinds of crazy things. And last night, I did a, uh, a light show that would be appropriate in a German disco. And not a very good German disco, by the way. I showed it during the show. Uh, it was a lot of fun. People seemed to really like it. And uh, then uh, a viewer contacted us today, and he said that he swears I resemble a pop culture icon during the German light show. So let's go full frame on this. Let's take a look. There is, that was me. That was my face during the middle of the bad German light show. And let's take a look at what he claims is the pop culture icon that I resemble. Let's take a look at, oh, it's the, kind of, leprechaun, leprechaun. I do I want me gold. <laughs> I want me gold. All right. Uh, 